the faster we talk, the cooler we'll get. That's so right. Let's, let's do move. it. We're going to move it. All right, I'm here with a woman who needs no introduction, Stacy Lewis. Welcome home. Said you didn't necessarily spend a lot of life here, mm -hmm. but come back here to visit family. What's it? Yeah. You seem to have a lot of second homes on I do. tour. Yes. What's it like to come back to one of them? Um, well, I, I mean, I love coming back here. This was, you know, my first LPJ tournament I played in. It was the one I came to as a kid. You know, I was that little kid getting autographs. I still have all the stuff that I had Vicky get signed for me. So. Um, you know, just a lot of memories here. A lot of, it's fun to get back and see family. Um, we had a family baby shower last night, which was fun. So um, it's just, it's a fun week for all of us to get together and, uh, you know, hopefully play some good golf too. How surreal is it to kind of think back to the days when you were outside the ropes getting those autographs and yeah. now you're the one inside the ropes giving the autographs? Yeah, that was, the, that was the craziest thing for me, especially the first couple years I played here was, you know, just reminiscing of being that little kid and that one, outside the ropes and us, you know, the tournament was always, it was usually 4th of July. So we came back and saw all of our family and everything. So um, it's just, you know, I know for my, my parents, especially being born and raised here, it's really special for them. They get to come back and see all of their, their crew and all the people they grew up with and went to high school with. So um, it's, it's, you know, more of a fun week just seeing family and friends. And now as you enter this next phase of your life, you'll have mm -hmm. to keep the ball rolling with a with little yeah. baby girl down there. Yeah. Um, what's been the reception this week? You said you had a family baby right. shower, but as, as people are seeing you for the last time before I become mommy. Right. Um, it's been good. You know, I um, everybody's been asking, is this the last one? And yes, it is the last one. And, um, you know, just taking it day by day and resting as much as I can, just get pretty tired. And the heat obviously doesn't help things. So um, just kind of minimizing the practice and maximizing what I can get done in a short amount of time and, um, you know, rest up for the next day. So Serena Williams won earlier today. So we've yeah. got a, a mom in the semis right. at, at Wimbledon and that's, <laughs> that's been right. a whole storyline and certainly yes. one you've been talking about. Mm -hmm. What has this experience of been like for you as you've gone over the past few, few mm -hmm. months of really starting to bring awareness to women, yeah. female athletes right. who want to do it all and can do it all? Yeah, the, uh, from KPMG and even since then, these last few weeks, it's been pretty crazy just to see the stories that have been written about it and the attention to females in the workplace and having babies and how that is all going to work out. And, you know, I just want to show people and kind of prove to myself, I think, too, that, you know, you can have a family and have a career, be successful out here. You can travel sometimes travel the world. I think the world travel stuff might cut back a little bit, but we can travel the United States and have a family and um, show, you know, I want my little girl to see that she can do whatever she wants, you know, that she can, you know, hopefully she's playing, if she wants to play golf, she's playing for more money than we're playing for right now. And, you know, hopefully sees that she can go out there and do the same thing. And, um, you know, I want, I want her, she may not ever remember it, but just for her to know that she was a part of it more than anything. We'll open it up for questions. Raise your hand. We'll bring a mic. We'll start right here in the middle with Kyle. Right behind you, Kyle. Thanks. <laughs> kind of piggybacking off that last question. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Even in 2018, there's a little bit of a stigma that yeah. when female professional athletes have kids that their career's kind of over. Right. Uh, how frustrating is that? Um, it's a little bit frustrating. And honestly, I don't, being that female, I don't know where that comes from because I've played some pretty decent golf being five and six months pregnant, which is pretty amazing. And um, it's, you know, it's crazy to just the day, the day that we live in and that, you know, just with what KPMG did with paying me for my full contract, it was kind of like, it was eye opening to people, I guess, that it was a shock of, I never really thought of that before. You know, why don't people do that? And um, it's just crazy that it's taken so long to get to that point. But, you know, I'm out here to try to change things and try to make it better for the girls coming behind me and for people, for these girls to know that they don't have to take a year off of golf to have a family, that you can still play golf and, you know, make money and do what you need to do and then have a baby at the same time. Can I ask one more? Sorry. Mm -hmm. I know you haven't used it yet, but mm -hmm. the daycare, the LPGA provides. Mm -hmm. uh, right. I mean, how important do you feel like that's yeah. going to be for you and how much did that kind of factor into what your whole decision making yeah. process? The daycare, I mean, honestly, is a huge part, is a huge help, really. It's a huge, I mean, I, I don't think I'd be able to play and do what I'm doing without the daycare. You know, you get the time that you're playing and plus three hours around it. So you can kind of work. I mean, you get basically eight hours of daycare 
for free, um, which is a pretty big deal. And it's going to make my job a lot easier. It's going to make it easier on my husband or whoever's kind of there helping me that they can get a little bit of a break too. And um, it's, you know, I know it's not going to be easy. I know we're going to have some sleepless nights on the road and we're going to have, you know, some good days and some bad days. But um, just to have that comfort of knowing that she's going to be taken care of while I'm inside the ropes and um, they have security with them at all times. So there's, there's a lot of comfort there in that the daycare that the tour provides. Stacy, when you kind of mapped out your schedule this year, did you, how important was it for, mm -hmm. to, to continue on through Toledo for this to kind yeah. of be the, the last stop, the, the goodbye yeah. for this year? It honestly, the timing of having the baby worked out perfect. It worked exactly as it was planned. Um, because from here, we got, we start our international travel and um, I just, I had KPMG, Arkansas and here were kind of my three tournaments that I really wanted to play in. So. Um, it honestly, when my husband and I kind of mapped it out and did the timing, it couldn't have been more perfect. So, um, you know, it's, it's a good ending. Um, it's not going to be easy, but it's a good ending for me. So, and just lots of one, mm -hmm. one bigger picture question on this tournament. A great tournament, always at the mm -hmm. great field, usually. A lot of star power this year, you, Lexi, some others. But yep. I think it was two of the top 15 in the world are here this year, which mm -hmm. is a little unusual. Is that just an unusually exhausting part mm -hmm. of the schedule this year or is, or is that something yeah. we should be worried about um, for this tournament? Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm worried about it. I just think right now with where it falls in the schedule, it's tough. Um, coming off of a couple majors and then going into traveling overseas, it's in a really hard spot in the schedule. and. I honestly think that's the biggest issue, but I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about it. I think the tournament's going to be fine because um, I think I heard an early projection for next year is we're going to have 20 in a row. So, <laughs> so there's other tournaments. People are going to start picking and choosing more. Um, so you're gonna you know you're gonna get some of your stars back. I think as the schedule changes going forward. When are you do stay at the end also, what is it mm -hmm. like trying to play world-class golf with a human growing inside <laughs> of you? Um, I'm due November 3rd, and um, it's, uh, it's been interesting. You know, I just in the last few weeks kind of feeling some movement and things like that. So you're standing on a tee and you feel a kick or something here and there. So that's kind of strange. Um, but the hardest part's been energy, to be honest. Um, the golf swing really hasn't changed too much. We were just working on the putting green on some putting because belly was getting in a little bit in the way. Um, so there's some minor adjustments, but luckily um, nothing major so far and just trying to keep myself hydrated and rested and, um, you know, keep us both healthy. Got one in the back. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Stacy. Um, I cover a lot of junior golf as well as the uh, LPGA and different tournaments. Mm -hmm. um, what would you give for advice to some of the girls that I talk to that just say, I want to become the next Lexi Thompson, mm -hmm. Stacy, you know, yeah. what would you say to them, something they should be doing or something mm -hmm. you maybe you would have learned coming up? I would tell them to win as many junior golf tournaments as they can. Um, I think learning how to win is the most important thing that these kids coming up could ever do. Um, and not to rush. Don't rush into playing professional events and playing that level up, um, thinking that you're going to get better. You're going to get better by playing and winning against your peers at that age. And so I just I tell kids to win as much as you can. And once you win a lot, then to go to the next level and win a lot at amateur golf. Then go win a lot at college golf. And then you'll come out here and you'll be ready to go. Um, so I think that's that's why I always tell kids and I think that's what you know We need more of working up through the junior golf ranks We'll go back to Kyle. What do you think your emotions will be like mm -hmm. on Sunday? I mean, do you think you'll be sad that you're leaving? Mm -hmm. Are you ready to, to go? Or yeah, what? Um, I don't think I'll be sad. I think I'll be pretty ready and pretty tired um, I'll, I definitely will miss the competitive part because I love being inside the ropes and playing and um, it's just everything else is just it's just hard you know it's just the energy like I talked about and um, but I, I'm looking forward to it I'm looking forward to I haven't had a break in 10 years you know I've been pretty fortunate knock on wood with injuries um, so I haven't I haven't had a break in 10 years so I'm honestly I'm excited to you know go home and design a nursery and do all that stuff and spend time with my husband and 
um, you know, just really looking forward to these next four or five months. Have you looked ahead to a comeback time and mm -hmm. uh, um, thought about what you're going to have to do to yeah. get your game back? Um, well, I mean, I don't know about getting the game back. I honest, I mean, I, all, all of this the whole time is just kind of take it as it comes and see how it goes. And um, that's what coming back after having the baby is going to be the same thing. You know, just see how it goes. Um, we do have, I'm in the, we have a winners only tournament, the Diamond Resorts in January. Um, that I'm in from Portland last year, so I would like to play that if I can and kind of use that as a test run of traveling and how everything's going to be, and then um, probably start up more full time in March out in Phoenix. So won't go to Asia or do any of that to start the year, but I think by March I should be, you know, in pretty good shape and ready to go by then.